focus, as always, is on student learning and how do our students learn best. And what's new and exciting about that is that our students are connected in ways they never have been connected in the past. Uh, everyone communicates in new ways almost every day. There have been times where I've gone to the library and there have been lines in the computer and you have to sit and wait, but it really isn't going to matter next year because each kid is going to have that one-to-one -one technology and they're going to be able to use it um, uh, efficiently on their own time. So I guess they can go anywhere they want. The whole campus is kind of at their disposal. In the future, we're hoping to have a, a electronic device in every student's hand in the classroom. And I think that allows us to get away from memorization Facts are a keystroke away nowadays. Uh, we want the students to be able to navigate through this information that's out there, learn what's important from it, and then analyze and interpret what's going on. Our goal and our plan is to have Wi-Fi throughout the building where students can connect. Now we're ready to take this step where we can have students bring their devices and truly be one-to-one -one in the classrooms. With this new technology initiative, I'm excited to be able to use a laptop or an iPad to take notes, get my homework at any time, whether it's in the cafeteria, the library, or either outside, I'm able to take this technology anywhere. Our technology um, has always been at the forefront. More than 10 years ago, we built the Jack and Pamela Egan Technology Center, and at the same time, we put smart boards in all our classrooms. Uh, this project is just a continuation of our school's endeavor to integrate technology into everything that we do. Here in the school I use technology when I'm doing labs for my AP biology class. It comes in handy because we can measure different rates and it's more accurate that way instead of doing it by hand. We uh, added digital probes to the chem labs, science labs in general, and it's really transformed the way we do labs. Students can now collect data faster, more accurately, uh, and it really lets them focus on the analysis part of the lab and not as much on the routine. They uh, record the titration data using our vernier probes and then actually bring it up on Google Docs spreadsheets and actually collaborate online uh, from home. But to be able to expand that now, to be able to use in the classroom would be wonderful. At this point, technology is being used with the smart boards. We are fortunate in our World Languages Department to have an excellent language lab, so the students enjoy executing activities in there. Um, they're able to do research, they're able to record their voices, they're able to get feedback on pronunciation. Um, but imagine if every student had a device in the classroom, that would really change the everyday class. There's going to be uh, a lot of exciting and interactive new ways to get the students involved. Um, everyone's going to have some sort of tablet or laptop or device to kind of make the learning more interactive, use it easier, um, as opposed to carrying textbooks around. Uh, they'll carry those devices around and it'll just make it easier and more efficient in the classroom. The new technology initiatives are going to allow us as teachers to explore applications of the technology in, in almost every level and every uh, section. Of our, of our classes. It's a pretty amazing and somewhat awe-inspiring moment where you can take uh, the access to all these people in the world, uh, all the situations in the world, and have data uh, right in your room with you. And we'll create a classroom that is remarkably dynamic and, and, and full of energy. I use technology pretty much every day. We have essays that we write, uh, you know, two to three, two to three a week. So, uh, you know, typing essays, uh, doing research, um, and now we have online books, uh, you know, for the, the modern languages. Students find technology very engaging. They use it often outside of the classroom. So be able, to be able to employ the same techniques that they use outside of the classroom, the same technology, it will only make the subject matter more interesting to them. Because I've been experienced with all this technology through Severian, I know that when I go to any college that I go to, I'm going to be fluent in the technology that I'll be able to use it just as efficiently. We've done all the necessary things to be ready for this stage. We, our classrooms are well equipped, our library is well equipped, our teachers are ready. And now you really have your global society brought right into our classrooms at Vernon Brothers High School. And there is nothing more exciting as a teacher, there's nothing more exciting as a student, and there's nothing more rewarding as a school to see your students and faculty go beyond our walls and contribute to society in ways that are going to improve society.
Our fundraising efforts tonight are to ensure that every student in our school community will be able to participate in this new and exciting way of learning and have access to the technology. All of the incredible technology that's available at Severian Brothers High School right now is due in large part to your generosity. And we thank you very, very much for that. I can promise you that all the faculty, staff, and administration at Severian Brothers High School are gonna do the best that we can with your sons. And now we're gonna ask for your best. If you could please support our new learning and technology initiative, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much, and go Hawks. Many thanks for all the support so far, uh, but uh, as usual, uh, it, it would be terrific if you could continue your support and, uh, and show us tonight that uh, this technological initiative is, is uh, something that's important to the community, and uh, I, know, I know for sure that's going to be important to changing the classroom and uh, in the direction we need to go. We've always had phenomenal support from our alumni and our parents, and that is what has made us such a, an excellent school. And we need everyone to get on board for this technology project so that um, we can continue uh, to be the outstanding school that we really are. Come on everyone, now's the time. We need your help. Raise those hands. Go Hawks.